Good morning. Do you put yourself down or have negative thoughts that stop you from moving forward with what you want? You might not even realize that you're shooting yourself in the foot. Do you find that no matter how hard you try and change something, it always stays the same? Like that old definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result? Hi, I'm Miss Chrissy D with the PNK Files, your emergency kit to life. And this is Darlene Turner with Victim to Victory. And together, we're the perspective. Hi, everyone. So today we're talking about self-sabotage. Um, last week, we talked about patterns and helping you start to realize what loop you're on and what's kind of continually showing you a pattern or belief that's stuck in there. And we can't talk about that without talking about self-sabotage. So what does that look like? Well, I can, I can share from my own experience uh, an example of I was in business training for a year and a half and not really ever seeming to get anywhere. There's not more clients or not really getting out there more. And one day I was talking to my coach and out of my mouth came the words, success is out of my reach. And we both went, wow, like, holy, that's a huge belief and to be playing in the background and stopping me and getting in my own way from success unfolding for me. So I had to really look at that. And why, why is it that success is out of my reach? And when I, I did, the underlying belief and the underlying issue in that was not enough. I'm not good enough. I'm not enough to be a successful person like other people. That's your old file. But remember, we were talking about files before. That was the file. You had somewhere to put that. I'm not good enough. And I can also relate to that. I have actually been pretty lucky. I've been fairly successful in a few different businesses. And how I sabotaged myself was I never did it for me. I was putting all of this energy into helping other people with their dreams and their goals. And then at the end of the day, getting nothing out of it and being too exhausted to put any of that energy into myself. It was all about helping everybody else be successful. Their dreams. I would see their worthiness. You're playing a B role in their movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's, that's another way is just, you know, focusing all that energy that we could be putting into our own lives and our own success and, and, and giving it out to other people. Another and, way. And, and the other thing that happens there is you get resentful. Yes, definitely. Yeah. And that's not a good feeling either. Right. You know, cause then you're like, well, how come they always get successful or make it and, and it's not for me. Right. Right. And then it plays into your old file of, I guess I just wasn't good enough. I got nothing. Yes, definitely. And uh, another way is just blaming other people or situations outside of ourselves. Oh, this is why it never works. Or, or <laughs> And so then, you know, really what that is, is actually pointing us inward and, and seeing why is it that I can never just reach my happiness, my success, or my find my true love. And that's really digging into why is this self-sabotage keeping you safe and stopping you? Right. How is it serving you? And for me, I, because I've shared this before, um, it totally plays into my old files of I'm not good enough. I'm not worthy enough. So in order to protect myself from, from people seeing the, the me that I'm not good enough, I'm going to put all of my energy into helping them shine and to help them get through their goals. And then they're not going to see that I'm not worthy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And thank you for that vulnerable share, because when we can be vulnerable, I think we help our listeners look at things a little bit more vulnerable. And, I hope so. Uh, yeah, yeah. And in, and another way that we self sabotage ourselves is um, procrastination and avoidance and distractions and addictions and all these things that um, 
to stop us from actually doing it, <laughs> taking those steps. Like uh, Miss Christy D said at the very start, a definition of insanity is repeating the same thing over and over and expecting change, right? So, right. And we have to, you know, we have to remember that this is about the journey, not the destination. And for those of us that maybe are perfectionists and we don't want to start something until we have it perfectly, again, so people won't see that we're not good enough. And because we want everything to be so perfect, it stops us from taking those first steps, which then proves that we're not good enough because we just never get started. So you know what? Just like this show that we're doing, it's one step at a time. We don't know what we're doing, but we're going to do it. We're going to help empower people and let them know that they're not alone. And we're going to try and give tips and tools to move forward. And we're just going to do it one step at a time. It's part of the journey. We don't have to be at the destination. Oh, I love that. And, you know, it's really about um, digging into our why. Why do we want this? And, you know, for Miss Chrissy D and I, it's really um, sharing our experiences and how we've learned and how we've overcome it and how we're still overcoming it every day and facing those fears and, you know, the not good enoughness of our, ourselves, that old program and and saying, hell no, we are good enough. We have an important message and we want to share it. And so that's, that's, what is that for you? Like, what is your, why do you want this? And really dig into that because when you get into more detail and really tap into the heart, why does my heart want this? Why does my soul want this? What am I holding my back self back from? You'll, you'll start to see a bigger picture of, of your destiny and you know, your true fate of that's playing out, not what's playing out in your life right now. And I think that's really important. Yes. To dig, yeah, to dig into that why. And then once you have that why, it's like, then it's like, okay, so how now am I, how is this um, self sabotage keeping me safe from that? You may have had, I think we shared in some other um, stories or shows. Um, how it was serving in a in a way that we would hold us back and um, keep us safe we may have had an experience i think we talked about standing up and talking and 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 in a childhood at school and all of a sudden um you know kids laughed at you it didn't work out i think it was your story miss <laughs> that's right um I, I actually remember in high school taking a failing grade because I had to get up and present my project in front of the class. And I had it done, but I was so afraid to get up and stand in front of people and show myself that I pretended I didn't do the homework and took a failing grade instead. That was a safer place for me. And how did you overcome all that? I know you've done some extensive stuff around this. Well, I, uh, you know what? One of the biggest things that really helped me was Toastmasters. It, I found myself when I had a foundation that I'd started years ago, I found myself on the news every night and I was wasting the time and I had something really good that I could do here to educate and to help people. And I was wasting all of this time in front of the camera. So I actually went to Toastmasters and I tell everyone that if you want to get some confidence in being able to give your message more clearly, go to Toastmasters. It's a real boost. Mm -hmm. yeah. I actually did a little bit of that too. And I think that kind of goes back into our, our knowledge is power. So, you know, sometimes if we're st scared to step forward, how can we learn more about that and start gaining that confidence that actually gives us that courage to take those steps forward? Yeah. Um, and so another, oh, another piece of this is, is um, preparing for things that may be obstacles in your way so that that you can, you know, have friends that are going to support you or people that have already accomplished this is really helpful um, as well so that it creates that level of belief and yeah, and just somebody to look up to or somebody that, yeah. Yeah, one of the things that I like to do um, when I find myself stuck in the place of I'm not good enough, I try and look at myself 
through my friends' eyes because my friends say some really nice things to me. I'm this, I'm this and this. And I look at them and I'm like, really? I don't see myself like that at all. And they're like, are you kidding me? So if you're having a hard time seeing the positives in you, look at yourself through your friends' eyes. Absolutely. Yeah. So do you have some tips for us? I do. I, I'm going to add on that one that you just talked about is, is that ask your friends, what is it that I have that you like about me? Or, or what do you admire about me? And to start drawing out those things, because you'll be surprised at their answers. And it's really a great practice for you and your friends to interact and do that back and forth. Because, you know, a big part of it is building ourselves up. We've spent our whole life most of us getting torn down. <laughs> so now yeah. we want to build ourselves up. So, yes. um, so my tips are is the first one is a clear understanding of why you're sabotaging yourself and a clear understanding of why you really want this thing. And then I want to encourage you to go over to our Facebook page, the perspective, Darlene Turner and Miss Christy D and Put in the comments there that you would like to uh, join our Facebook group because in there I have EFT and we talked about that in an earlier show where it's a tapping technique on meridians that help reprogram the brain. So a big part of this tip is I deeply love and accept myself where I'm at, even though it's not perfect and you know in any way, whatever that looks like it's okay where you're at right now. So that that doesn't feed into that judgment and criticism and not enoughness and all of that. So that's the one of the beginning. And then with that video that we have there, um, we, we walk out well, I help walk Miss Chrissy D through the steps of uncovering, you know, what it is that's blocking us and tapping that out and then releasing that and then bringing in the new program, I am enough, I can do this, or whatever it is for you. So please go over and like and put in a comment there so we can add you to the group because we're going to be doing shorter videos and more details on some tips in there for you. So that's my tip. Tip one and my tip two is I talked a little bit about it is kindness to yourself and compassion and, and knowing that just because you're acting or showing up the way you are, is not who you are. You are so much more inside and to have that compassion and for yourself and kindness because somewhere along the line, somebody told you you're not enough or you're not worthy and you believed it, but it's not true. So dig inside and have that compassion and love for yourself and, and start building yourself up. You know, you, so might, like we, you, you might be surprised, you know, you find, I find myself now that I'm really trying to practice these, is how many times a day I beat myself up. It's absolutely amazing. So I'm pretty lucky. I work with a couple of younger guys and one of them challenges me all the time. He's like, what, he'll just out of the blue, what's one thing you like about yourself today? What are you honoring about yourself today? And it's a really good reminder when this old brain is beating myself up because I did something wrong or it wasn't perfect even though it was no big deal so mm -hmm. learning to be kind to myself it's harder than you think <laughs> yeah and celebrate the small stuff even if you did a small accomplishment say you're trying to lose weight and you had a salad for supper and you skipped the chips while watching tv whatever it is celebrate that right you know because we need to celebrate those small things to yeah. help build that momentum up yes and my tip three is actually kind of what I just said, it, it's building up that tolerance. So, you know, taking those small steps forward and being okay with that, just, it helps build strength. It helps build momentum, all those kind of things. And then my tip four is attach value to your why and really getting into that deep why do I want this? What does that look like? And creating that vision and really creating that feeling within that vision when you already have that in your life. What does that feel like? What does that look like? And then all of a sudden you might feel scared or you might have some other emotions rising. And these are going to be clues to what is blocking you. And then you can work through that uh, with the EFT that we shared before. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So again, a reminder to everybody to go to 
on Facebook, The Perspective with Darlene Turner and Miss Chrissy D, where you can actually see the video and you can see our past shows. I would love it if we could start having our listeners actually sending us messages saying, you know, I tried this and here's how my week went. It actually made a huge difference because I can tell you, everyone, it is making a huge difference in my whole being, how much more relaxed I am how much better I'm sleeping and how clear I am and how much more I am enjoying my day because of it. So thank you everybody. We're keeping this short and sweet like we always say so that you all have the time to get access to the tools. So come and join us every Sunday at 10 o'clock for the new perspective on trauma, abuse, chronic pain and the steps to a thriving and healthy life. We'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.